Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, Doctor Strange is out. It's been out for technically three days now. Uh, I hope you guys have seen it because, uh, just forewarning, we are going to be getting into some spoilers here. So, if you don't want spoilers, you can skip to the end uh, and just listen to my rating and overall thoughts of the film. But, yes, uh, without further ado, let's get into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So this is going to be your typical spoiler review. I am not going to be getting into the cameos uh, that are in this film, uh, as well as the end credit sequences, the post credit scenes. Uh, I'm not going to be getting into all that. Um, I am here to talk about some different kind of spoilers. Some scenes that I'm going to be picking out uh, a little bit that I really wanted to address because what I've been hearing is that this is the first fucking horror film from the MCU. So one more thing really quickly just before we get into this. Uh, I don't know anything about Doctor Strange. Uh, I am not someone who has followed the Marvel Universe too much. Um, I am a big fan of Spider-Man so I know enough as far as Doctor Strange goes, thank God. But Yes, um, I did not see the first Doctor Strange, so, or, or WandaVision, so I am not the most knowledgeable about it, but I will do my best to kind of, you know, say what the film was about from what I got out of it, and again, uh, this is directed by Sam Raimi, and the horror aspect is kind of a big deal circulating right now, so as far as spoilers go, I will be kind of, you know, digging into some of the horror element and stuff that I saw in the film that I really want to talk about. So Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness follows Doctor Strange and uh, this obviously picks up where No Way Home left off um, and we see again the multiverse in this film only this time Doctor Strange has teamed up with this kid named America Chavez who has an ability to travel through the multiverse and go through different universes, which is fucking awesome to see. Holy shit, that was fucking cool. There's fucking paint. Paint versions of these people. <laughs> Comic book versions. It was badass, dude. You know what sequence I'm talking about. And on the side, we see Wanda, played by Elizabeth Olsen, uh, and we see her evil form, Scarlet Witch, which uh, is when... Wanda is under the Dark Hold, which is basically this demonic book or something, this book of the dead, book of souls. I don't know too much about it, just just what I got out of it. And basically, she is under this spell, this really dark, horrible fucking spell that has a lot of fucking power to it. And basically, she is after America Chavez because... America Chavez, again, has this ability to travel through the multiverse, and she wants this so that she can be reunited with her family. That's kind of what I got out of it. So that is the general gist of what this movie is about. So now let's get into the thick of it. <sighs> Our boy, Sam fucking Raimi. <laughs> so Sam Raimi is known as one of the big horror gods out there as far as cinema goes. He is responsible for films like The Evil Dead, as well as Drag Me to Hell, as well as the fucking original Spider-Man trilogy. Whew. Sam fucking Raimi, dude. And again, there was a lot of hype about this movie because the first reviews came out and they were like, this movie's fucking scary. This movie, don't take your kids to it. It is the first MCU horror film and it pushes its PG-13 rating. And me, being a horror enthusiast like myself, I'm like, Let's, let's, let's get into this. All right, you, you have me sold. I'm going to see this movie. So how did it live up as far as that hype goes? So first off, I want to say that this is a pretty good directed film as far as like, you know, Sam Raimi doing a MCU film goes. This is the most different mar feeling Marvel movie we've ever gotten. It is very dark. It is very gritty. They do do a lot of things that have not been done before in the Marvel universe that a lot of fan a lot of people if they didn't know about this topic that I'm talking about and they're going into this blind they're going to be they're going to have a fucking ride dude they're going to have a hell of a time which personally I'm just going to say right off the bat 
I don't think that this film quite pushes its PG-13 rating. It is a much darker film. It feels a lot darker. It is a lot of, a lot darker. It's got a lot of material in it that, again, we're, we've never seen from a Marvel film. We probably would never quite expect. As a horror fan, I respected the movie a lot. I will say that much. And especially if you are a fan of Sam Raimi, you are going to be, I think, for the most part, quite pleased with this film. Um, right off the bat, there are, I'm not going to say a lot of references to Evil Dead. There are things that feel very Evil Dead-esque. The camera work as well as the aesthetic and the atmosphere. Like, there's this one scene where we're in the a universe where we actually see Wanda, you know, as the mom with her kids. And when Scarlet Witch, like, when her presence kind of comes into the picture of this universe, we see this kind of this camera work and this aesthetic and this tone and this pace that was almost reminiscent to drag me to hell's kind of pacing and overtone and again just as a sam raimi film that's just one of the things but that was one of the things i was most excited about i mean i i expected you know because i heard that there was a lot of blood and gore and kills and you know jump scares and whatnot in this film but the way that you know because this is a sam raimi directed film <laughs> The way that, he, like, what he was able to, I'm not going to say get away with, but, like, how much he was actually able to do in his vision, you could tell that he was really pleased with this. You could tell that he actually had a, a lot to kind of work with. And I'm really glad that, you know, he was able to do this. Because while I wouldn't call this quite a horror experience or say that it pushes its PG-13 rating, again, just as a horror enthusiast, you know, and not only that, but, like, Especially if you're going into this movie blind. Sam Raimi really does make this film his own. I mean, I wouldn't quite say that it was like a direct reference to Drag Me to Hell. But you can see that this is his film. Just even by the way that he, you know, moves the camera. Not even in the, you know, action sequences. In these tense, built-up sequences where, you know, it gets really quiet or it's panning on, on, on someone in a certain sort of uh, fashion, you know, and it's... You know, it's getting eerie and it's getting suspenseful. He does it very well. So going back to the hype and like kind of like, you know, what the, what I actually got out of this film is like, again, you know, it, it wasn't too graphic. I don't think it wasn't too, you know, unsettling. Um, It was definitely a lot darker. It's probably the darkest Marvel film we've ever gotten. <laughs> but, you know, for example, like there's this, you know, giant like star octopus thing that, you know, that you've seen in the trailer, Um, you know, it gets its fucking eye ripped out. And then there's like, you know, like, Scarlet Witch gets all, like, zombified and shit, and so does Benedict Cumberbatch at some point, you know, in the, in the film, because he's like, oh, I'm gonna take all of the dead versions of me and create them to battle Scarlet Witch, which was a fucking badass sequence. Kind of corny, but, you know, I respected it, just because they did it in this film. Just because they fucking did it. That's another thing, really quickly, is, like, there's, like, a lot of things in this film where I'm like, it didn't quite work. But just the fact that they fucking went there, you gotta give them props for it. <laughs> but going back uh, to what I was saying a second ago, yeah, you know, like, there's this, you know, sequence where this monster gets his giant-ass fucking eye ripped out, and, cons you know, and considering that this came out in 3D, holy shit, man, just more, more respect to it. And then, you know, Scarlet Witch is, like, walking around this fucking laboratory place trying to fucking you know, go after America Chavez, and she's just destroying everything in her path, she's got, like, a slice coming down her fucking face, and she's, like, covered in blood, and she's fucking, like, limping and shit. Just straight evil dead zombie shit. And this is a really interesting one, but it was actually my favorite one, favorite, uh, sequence. So there's a sequence where Scarlet Witch is, like, coming out of the, out of this mirror, because, like, Doctor Strange is like, well, if you want to get to America Chavez, you have to go through me. And he puts up this, like, whole fucking, like, house of mirrors shit. And she's able to, like, go through, like, reflections and shit. So she ends up, like, reaching her hand out through the mirror. And she's all jangled and, like, comes out fucking all topsy-turvy and fucking demented as shit. And instantly I thought of Pennywise, that, that one scene in It where he comes out of the fucking fridge, dude. It was amazing. It was so unexpected and, and so just original because there were things where you know yes they were very reminiscent to you know evil dead and drag me to hell but you know there's sequences like that where i'm just like has sam raimi done that before damn dude more power to you but that is kind of like overall how i feel about a lot of things in this film like 
I wouldn't say that I like dislike them. You know, I definitely enjoyed them and I respected them. But even the things that I really respected, yes, it looked cool. It was spooky, and Sam Raimi did a good job with these effects. You know, during these segments, but they felt very out of place sometimes. Like there were some times where you know it worked because you're just like, oh, that's intense. You know that matches the lore of this fucking character and then there's sometimes where he just goes all out and you're just like looked cool why 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 though why why in this movie during this scene why <laughs> and that's kind of like the verdict the verdict i think of this is like the pacing was sometimes it was fine how it transitions like there's a sequence at the end where like dr strange meets like another version of himself who's like the bad version of him he's got like fucking three eyes and shit living in this fucking like fucking nightmare on elm street ass fucking mansion <laughs> and uh, like how everything like what like like where it transitioned you know from like point a to point b i thought was pretty cool but again there was just some visual effects for example <laughs> where you know the horror aspects for example like they looked cool but like they just felt very out of place like, I feel like Sam Raimi did a good job directing and, like, writing some shit in. But at the same time, like, there were just some visual effects in this movie. <laughs> like, as much as, like, they hit, that just really fucking missed. That just came off really fucking corny to me. And kind of the same thing with the humor. Like, there's some times where, <laughs> like, preferably I thought that Benedict Cumberbatch really quickly. I thought he specifically really delivered in this film. I thought he put on great performances as different versions of this Doctor Strange character. I thought that his persona and his like demeanor the whole movie throughout all the different versions was just awesome. As well as his humor. I thought like he doesn't even have to try. He could have like the most stern, just straight face, say the most just like random ass shit. And it's just it's it just works, dude, because he just he just does well with it. But there was like a lot of stuff like written that just I was just like what? Like, there's a sequence where, like, he's explaining, uh, you know, like, what Spider-Man is to, like, America Chavez. And he's like, oh, yeah, he's this, you know, dude that has spider powers. And she's like, oh, gross. Does she, like, does he, like, you know, shoot webs out of his butt? And I'm just like... <sighs> it was things like that. And, like, mind you, this is, like, the only reference I, I that I can recall to Spider-Man. And I'm like, that's the best you could do? <laughs> Come on! Come on, come on. Going back to the pacing, I do think that they did really well uh, for the most part with it. You know, again, getting from point A to point B, they did a lot of different things, a lot of surprises, and for the most part, they really went all out with it, and it kind of worked out for the most part. Also, another thing that I was really, like, amped up about whenever it came on screen was, like, seeing this dark hold kind of, like, <laughs> I guess, like, uh, atmosphere. <laughs> you know, like, where everything just kind of turns, like, all, like, depraved and like fucking red and just like evil deadish. I really respected that. Again, like it didn't always work, but just the fact that they were able to do it and as a horror fan it really just kind of, you know, it was nostalgic in a sense. Not saying that it was all necessary or again that it all fit, but just the idea of it was in this film was just it was it was nice. It was a nice change and I'm happy that they you know, even, like, went for this. And one other thing I'm gonna state really quickly is, like, I feel like, and I've never said this, I don't think, with a Marvel movie, or at least a superhero film, but I feel like the things that the film did the best with were the dramatic tones. This is a very deep movie in a lot of ways. <laughs> there's a lot of emotion in it, there's a lot of characteristics, there's a lot of different kind of, you know, overtones in this film, and I feel like when it you went for that, it really delivered. Like, more than, you know, like, aside from, like, the horror elements, that was the stuff that really had me, like, you know, just lost in the film in a really good way. So, I feel like, for the most part, the film is written well, and I respect a lot of the things, in the very least, that the film went for, but just pretty much everything from, you know, humor to pacing, even to uh, the effects, it didn't all work. Again, I respected a lot of it, and for the most part, I can kind of defend a lot of it. But in the end, I you're going to feel, I think, for the most part, why this is considered one of the weaker films in the MCU and why it's getting such polarized uh, reactions. Because, again, you got to respect 
the things that the film went for. You got to respect the shift com in comparison to like other Marvel films and where the MCU is, it has come to. It's amazing how not how much they're able to get away with now in the MCU, but how much they are willing to go for. You just can't be disappointed for you know what they what they attempted at in the very least. Overall, guys, I think I'm gonna give Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness a 5.2 out of 10. Again, I didn't like everything in the film, but I didn't really dislike too much of it either. It was very you know 50-50 for me. Things that I liked, I also wasn't a huge fan of just as much, but even when I wasn't quite a huge fan, I can still say for the most part I was, you know, pleased because I was able to respect a lot of this to a big degree. <sighs> wow. God damn. <laughs> this is what it feels like to review a fucking MCU film in 2022. So yes, guys, that is going to do it for my video on Doctor Strange of the Multiverse of Madness. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. I really did not know entirely how I was going to go about this film or what it was going to come to. But, you know, there was enough to get me to the theater to see this movie. And there was enough that I wanted to talk about. So this is just the takeaway from it. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy Doctor Strange. Um, Again, there is a lot about it to respect. But I can see why people are divided. I'm going to wrap up here, but... Again, let me know what you thought about the video as well as the movie down below. Take care, guys, and have a good day. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.